Hello and welcome back to AI Tarun. In this channel, we talk about artificial intelligence and related stuff. Seven months ago, I created a video showing you how you can run large language models on Intel devices like Arc 770 or any other Intel graphics card. Today, I have even better way to run large language models on these devices. And the best part is it is easy and the bestest part is the speed is really fast on Intel devices. This method uses SQL library. So SQL is kind of a uh, CUDA library. Basically, it's an abstraction layer, but you can think of it like a CUDA code and you can run it on various different uh, hardware like CPUs, GPUs, FPGAs, etc. But in this video, we are not going to dive into the coding part, but we are going to utilize the work of really smart people who have converted the CUDA code of Lama CPP to the SQL code so that it can run on various other devices and very much optimized way. So uh, I'm going to use my 770M graphics card, which is a mobile graphics card, and it's a low power device. And even on that, the speed is really awesome. So if you run it on uh, any other uh, PC graphics card, you can get even better speed. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we are going to use this article to run LLMs really fast on our ARC devices. Thank you to these guys. At the bottom of this article, you will find the GitHub link also, which you, which we will use later in this video. So let's go ahead and do the first step, which is to install the GPU drivers. I am going to do it on Windows. So here is the link to the drivers. I am now on the Intel page and let me click the download here button. Now, let me just check whether my device is listed here or not. I am using Arc 770M. Other graphics card are also supported like 770, 750, etc. So my device is listed here. Let me go ahead and click the download. And my download has started. Now let me do the second step, which is to install the one API based toolkit. We will use this to compile our Lama CPP library. So let me go ahead and click the link. Now we are at the one API based toolkit page. Let me click the download button and hmm, my operating system is Windows. I'm going to use offline installer. And let me go ahead and click this link to download the one API base toolkit. Now we need to download the Lama CPP library. So we are going to its GitHub link and you can use a git clone command to download this repository, but I'm going to download this Lama CPP repository as a zip file. So let me go ahead and click download zip and the download has started now we need to install the drivers which we downloaded previously it is now getting installed i will provide the link to this article in the video description so that you can follow along so now the driver is getting installed and I will come back again once the installation is completed. I have rebooted my system after installing the graphics drivers. Another very crucial step now is to install Visual Studio. So you need to install Visual Studio if you don't already have it. Go to Microsoft's website and install Visual Studio Community Edition because that is free. Now let me go ahead and install the Visual Studio. Continue. We just need the C++ desktop environment for this and uh, we don't need any other thing apart from that. So we are just going to install the C++ desktop environment on Visual Studio. So now let me click install. It is completed after some time. 
Now, so far we have installed the graphics driver, we have downloaded the Lama CPP repository, and we have installed the Visual Studio Community Edition for C++. Now we are going to install the One API based toolkit, which we downloaded earlier. So I'm installing it right now, and I will come back again once this installation is completed. I have rebooted my system again after installing the one API based toolkit. Now I am extracting the Lama CPP repository, which we downloaded earlier as a zip file. And uh, after this, I am going to follow the original GitHub repository of how to compile using SQL. And it is provided at the bottom of that article, which I showed in the beginning. I find this has more clear instructions. So I am going to use this. So step one done, step two Visual Studio done. And we need uh, something to compile our library. So we are going to use CMake for that. So I'm here on the CMake website and I am going to download its Windows version because I'm on Windows. And after that, I will install CMake. So click and let me install it now. So click next, accept next, add to the environment variable, environment path of your system. Two, 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 done. Now we need this toolkit W64 dev kit, which is very important to compile the Lama CPP library. So I'm going to download its zip file. So the download has completed. Now we need to add its bin folder path to Windows system path. So I am going to extract this downloaded W64 dev kit first. Extract and it will take a little time. I'll come back. Here I am again. Now I am going to go inside this folder and go to this bin folder and copy this bin folder, bin folder path and uh, paste it in the Windows path variable. So let me go to the system variables. Oh, not this one. Windows system variables. Okay. Go here, environment variables, go to the path, which is below in system variables, new and paste the bin folder path of W64 dev kit. So now we are all set and we can now compile our library. Before compiling, here is a very important step. We need to enable one API environment in our command prompt so that our command prompt can look for SQL and other important one API files. So we are going to run this command first and after that we can go ahead and do the compilation. Now I am opening a new command prompt and I'm pasting this command here. It is enabling the one API environment done. Now I'm going to run SQL hyphen LS command. It will list out all the available devices uh, which are available to one API. So now here you can see my graphics card is visible, my ARC 770M and even my integrated graphic card is visible. Now let's start the compilation process. So for that first go to the Lama CPP repository and create a new folder build. This will keep our build files. So now once it is done, copy its path and open in the same command prompt where we enabled the one API environment before. It's the same command prompt. Now I am inside this directory. Uh, so let's run the compilation command now. Here it is. Okay, copy and okay. We need to go one uh, folder back, I guess. No, no, we can directly run inside this build folder. We just copy paste this command and it will start building. So you may see some failed cases here, but don't worry. Ultimately, it has to write some optimum build files based on your computer's instruction sets. So it's doing that. It's normal to have some failed cases here. And once this build 
process is done, we will do the final compilation to create the executable, I mean the exe, which will run our large language models really fast on our devices. It will take little time. It is checking all the uh, important uh, processor instruction sets which are available. Okay, now it is done. Now we can go ahead and build the executables. So let's go to the command. We are just going to build the main um, main binary. We don't need all the binaries because this repository has so many binaries available for you to build. But for us, just main is important. So we are going to run make main and it will build our executable. So it will take little time. I will be back once this build process is done. I am back. So this process has created our main.exe inside the bin folder. So if you will go to Lama CPP build bin, you will find your main.exe. So inside the bin, uh, you can find the main.exe. Now we need to download our large language models. So we will go to hugging face and download our desired models in the GGUF format. So this is the format which Lama CPP can run. And uh, there are lots of large language models available on hugging face in this format. So I'm going to download some more models like Phi2 from Microsoft. I will go to, uh, I will search Phi2 and I will go to files and versions where I will find all the files. And here you can see at different level of quantization, Phi2 is available. So I'm going to download these. I will going to download uh, some more models and I will put inside the model folder of the Lama CPP. So here I have downloaded some um, models, large language models. Now I'm going to run using the main.exe. So I'm going to one step, one folder back as instructed here. And I'm going to run the command. You just need to replace your model path. And you can see model has been loaded and it will start running. Wow. You can see the speed. It is really, really fast. The Llama CPP, Llama 2, uh, Llama 27B is running really fast. Now let me try some more models. Uh, let me copy the path of Phi2 and change my command for that. Okay, previous command. Now I will replace the model name here to my Phi model hmm. and enter. Model has been loaded to my arc device and it is running as you can see on G, uh, on GPU you can see 32 repeating layers to the GPU offloaded and it is running super fast and it's just taking 4.3 gigabytes wow so fast already finished wow wow now let me run one more time to see and you know my recording software is also using the GPU so you can see, super fast.